Welcome to this eLearn Security video training lesson on Enumerating Subdomains. In this video, we are going to see a few different techniques and tools that can be used to enumerate all available subdomains within a domain name. This is a very important step of our information gathering process, since such information will widen our attack surface. The first technique we are going to use exploits the power of the search engines and its search operators. Thanks to Boolean operators and specific filters, we can use Google to retrieve a list of subdomains by filtering our search. The target domain on which we are going to run our tests is cbs.com. Our first Google query will use the site operator, which returns results only from the specified site or domain. So our query string will be something like this, site colon dot cbs dot com. So here we are saying that we want to display only the results that are in the dot cbs dot com domain. Indeed, as we can see, all the links returned are in the domain cbs.com. But if we inspect them more closely, we can see that only the subdomain www is returned. Remember to keep track of the domains found. You can use a simple text file or a mind map tool such as FreeMind. So for now, we have just found www. We can continue our searches by adding another operator. This time, we want to exclude from the results all the links that are part of the www domain. We can set this rule by adding the following string, dash site, colon, www.cbs.com. Now Google takes the results of the previous query and excludes all of the items that have the domain equal to www.cbs.com. Indeed, we can see the www.cbs.com does not appear anymore, and we are able to discover a few other new subdomains such as CBS News, www.cbs news. Radio, CBS Match, Edix, and Investor. Now we can keep tweaking our search query by removing the new subdomains found. So we will keep adding dash site until we find all of the subdomains. We will know we found all of the subdomains when we don't get any more results. So, although this is a very easy way to enumerate domains for a specific target, it is a tedious task since we have to tweak the search query every time we find a new domain. If we want to automate the process, we can use online tools or command line tools that will do the job for us. For example, let us first use the online tool named Netcraft. Enumerating DNSs with Netcraft is a matter of seconds. We just need to open the following web page, type in the target domain, which in our case is .cbs.com, and then click on Look Up. As we can see here, we have a list of subdomains found. You've probably noticed that this is not as exhaustive as the Google results, but it is a very fast way to get a starting list of subdomains. To cope with this problem without manually writing each new host found, we can use tools specifically designed to discover subdomains. In this video, we will use two types of tools. The first one called DNS Senum allows us to use the Google search engine to discover all of the available subdomains, while the other one, called Subroot, uses a word list to enumerate all of the subdomains of a specific target. Note that DNS Senum is also able to run brute force from a word list file. So, let us start by running DNS Senum to display its help manual and check its options. As we can see, we have many options that we can set. For now, we will focus only on the options that we need to run the enumeration with Google. At the very beginning, we can see the right syntax to use. We will need to type DNS Senum followed by the options we want to use, and then the target domain. If we scroll down a bit, we can see we can specify a number of threads. We will use it in order to speed up the process. Here instead, we can see the options we can set for the Google search. We can set the number of pages to process and the maximum number of subdomains to find. So these are the only two options we need to run our test. Let us start writing the full command, which will be dnscenum minus p20 since we want to analyze the first 20 pages of Google results, minus S100 to limit the results to 100 subdomains, which is quite a good amount, minus threads 5 to speed up the process, and at the end of the target domain, which is cbs.com. So now that the command is complete, let's run it and wait a few seconds for the results to come up. 
As we can see, the tools prints the results for each Google page it parses. Let's wait until it finishes all of the 20 pages, and then we will have a list of all of the subdomains found. Here we are. As we can see, there is a lot of useful information that is printed here. We have all of the subdomains, plus some other information. These are the same results we will get with the Google technique seen before. But as you can see, it's easier and faster. The next tool we want to use now is Subroot. Since it's not installed by default in Kali Linux, we have to clone the GitHub repository, and then we will be able to use it. We already did it, so let's move into the tool folder and run subroot h. This time we want to use a dictionary tag to discover all of the available domains. It's important to know that subroot comes with a default word list named names.txt. So, if we do not want to use a custom word list, we can just run the following command. Subroot, followed by the target domain. Now we just have to wait until the tool parses the whole word list. We will see the results in our console. In case you want to store these results into a file, Subroot offers the ability to output them into two different formats, a greppable format and a JSON format. So the tool may take a while, but to this point, we have found a good amount of subdomains. We can stop the task by hitting Control plus C. Remember that during your pen tests, you have to keep track of your findings. So, be sure to store these results in a file, a database, a spreadsheet, or whatever you feel more comfortable with. And this concludes our training video lesson on enumerating subdomains. Thanks very much for joining us.